thank you for clicking on this video. Enjoy! You're already down. Down for what? Down for what? Alright, let's go talk to Silene. Also, there was a guy that wanted a big Bidoof, and we caught an Alpha Bidoof, so that's gonna be big enough for sure. And I think the guy that wanted the big Bidoof was over here somewhere, so let's go talk to him real quick. Down in the ground. Ooh. Hey, you Bidoof, sir. Oh, no, it's a, not a Bidoof. It's, it was a uh, Buivel. And I remember we don't have it. Bah, fine. For some reason, I thought it was a big Bidoof one. Not. Darn it! Hammer, why are you yelling at me? Why are we yelling at Nerpy? Nerpy is just trying to be nice. Hello, Silene. Yes? Have you made progress on your research task? If you have to progress, show me your Pokedex. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here's my Pokedex, ma'am. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. New rank! When the world was that? That was, um... I didn't pay it the cookie tax. Oh my god, the T-Rex scared you. I'm sorry, Kelly! <laughs> it's one of the sound alerts. I'm sorry! Mmm. Oh, stretch. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you aim for your earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. These are further f recipes you'll need for crafting. Uh, feather Balls. Super Potions. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as Solation Ruins. This is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Cuckoo. A new request on the board. Let's grab it. Yoda, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange Ponita. You must investigate the matter for the good of science. There are no other requests. Thank the chat. I'll read. Chat, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate I appreciate that you guys take time out of your busy, busy day to come say hello and hang out. Alright, so what's our Pokemon looking like right now? Uh, this Weasel... Weasel should level up, right? At some point. Can I craft more Pokeballs? One. I mean, I guess I'll craft it. And then enough for one. Those. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just ready to go out again. I really do need components to make Pokeballs, though, is my issue right now. Hey! Mind helping me train a bit? That's the stuff! I'll feel a lot better going out researching on my own if I can beat you. That shouldn't be too, too bad level-wise anymore. Earlier, my Pokeball, my Pokemon were definitely lower level than they should have been, but this shouldn't be too, too bad. Yep. Flame Wheel, because that's the strongest move. Have you played the new Pokemon yet, uh, Kelly? Or are you interested in Pokemon at all? I, sh I guess I should ask first. Go, Pikachu! Ow. 
Ow. Rude. Get out of here. Strong style. Oh, Quilava might be dead again. <laughs> oh my god, I can't keep that Quilava alive for the life of me. God damn it. Uh, the only one that might do decent is Bibarel or Luxio at this point. Because Pikachu is electric and I'll have a lot of flying. We'll just fight. Thursday hasn't been working for three days. I came to check today and the whole thing was just gone. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Do you actually need your AC over there right now, though? It's summer. Uh, it's winter, I mean. Oh boy, Pikachu's going to be angry with me again. Uh, you have, yes, big, big Pokemon fan. Your two cats, Eevee and Sphinx, are currently set, set on me. Oh, cute, Kelly. Nice. Seems right that the one who could defeat a lord would defeat beat me too, I guess. It's still... Oh my god, Joseph. Even right now, it's still 27 salt. Oh my god, I would be dead. I would be dead. Thanks for that battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Stealth sprays. Not impressed right now. <laughs> Mark, thank you for 12 months. You didn't have to. But I appreciate you. Going to sleep now. Good night, you lurky. Sounds good, Joseph. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. How are you doing, Mark? Welcome in. Are you hanging out with the bros? With your brothers? You are nice. Hi there, bud. Hello there. How do you do, good sir? Slowly cooking while sl you sleep. What are you cooking while you sleep? What? Unless you put something in the slow cooker, I guess. You know, lately these space-time distortions things have been popping up here and there. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them, but it turned out there were legions of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it Anana. out alive. Anana? We shall play some game per usual. Nice. What are you playing tonight? So hot in your apartment, you're being cooked. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. That makes more sense, Joseph. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's yelling at me again? Joseph, yelling at me. Yeah, I know. It, it's very warm, Joseph. I'm sorry. It's very warm. Possibly Valheim with the new update. Nice. Everyone's getting back into Valheim thanks to the new update, I've noticed. You be careful around those distortions, all right? Anyway, time to make for the Myrlands camp. All right. I really desperately need... Pokeballs. You want to get to the Mistlands, but we're starting over. Oh, for, uh... <laughs> for Valheim? I haven't played the uh, Raddy since we were playing, uh... Our, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I figured you meant Valheim. I haven't played since uh, we played, you know, yeah. I never, we were, we were basically on the last section too. We were missing one boss, I think. Uh, Myrlin's camp. Yeah, we'll go to the Myrlin's camp in a sec. We do need more Pokeballs. Can I buy Pokeballs, actually? Because I'm not finding as many materials as I would like. We didn't do the Plains boss. Yeah, that's what I remembered, that we we were missing one boss, basically. Uh, do you sell Pokeballs, per chance? Yes, you do. Sweet. Let's not waste a full 10,000. But let's get, like, 50. That'll keep us going for a little bit at least. There you go. The rest of it, I don't care. Yeah, I remembered that we were missing one boss. So what's new now? Is it going much further than that? I would assume so at this point. Since we haven't really played since the game came out originally. Hey, 
Hey, Toast. How are you doing? Welcome in. What brings you here? How did you find us? Just out of curiosity. New biome and something like 30-some more items. Nice. Crimson Myrlands. Here we are, my girl, the Crimson Myrlands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon, and plenty of other besides. I was recommended to you? By whom? Oh, and that's better than calling me Toes. <laughs> oh my god. Lurk, sounds good. Malk, thank you for coming out to hang out, and thank you for the 12 months. Made a whole bunch of crafts and new bosses. Nice, nice. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it, though. Oh, that's right. You're heading to Solacian Ruins, aren't you? They're off that way. If you need a pointer, see the entrance way over there. You know, I wish we could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm counting on you both to carry out your survey work as best as you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Sizu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Toast, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. And is this my first playthrough? I'd say somewhat. Uh, back when it first came out, originally came out, I played it on my wife's file. Because she, she wanted me to play for her, essentially. And so we could see the story together. I had made it some portion through. I think we had gotten to like three or four star, maybe something like that. Maybe five at the most. Uh, so this specific content is not quite new to me. I restarted it on my own file for, for stream. Um, but yeah, so we're slowly making our way through since last week. And we stream about three hours per week. So we're almost six hours in right now. But welcome in. You go to the training grounds and have Captain Sizu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Alright. What you want, girl? Hey there! You're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a request for you if you've got time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Rosalia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands and such a graceful Pokemon. I've come to the go I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Rosalia, but just watching from a them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Rosalia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? Uh, but yeah, I was recommended to you from whom? Just out of curiosity. All right, so we got a bunch of new Pokemans to catch. Get you in the back. Oh, wow, you actually got out. God dang it. Rude. Oh, Ghastly. Hide. There's a Ghastly. Hi, Ghastly. I would like to catch you. Can you turn around for me? Thank you. Nerps, run! What's up? How are you doing? You love Pokemon? Nice. Oh, you mean Twitch recommended. Okay, okay. Now, now I get it. Now I get it. How are you doing, Ron? If you guys have not checked out Ron, please do. Ron is awesome. That was quick. No need for shout out. Too bad. You get an automatic. Oh, uh. You get an automatic shout out as soon as you pop in here, Ron. That's how this works. Thanks for asking. How have you been? I've been doing good. I've been doing good. There we go. Got the ghastly. Uh, let's see if we can catch some more. Pokemon is like the best ever. I'm just recently getting back into Pokemon, to be honest. 
You're doing a normal type hardcore Nuzlocke and sword. Nice. It was last year uh, my uh, fellow TIC members and myself uh, did a... Um, I don't have... Oh, I don't have space in my satchel. No wonder I wasn't picking it up. Uh, yeah, we were doing a black and white uh, type lock is what we called it because we were all assigned a specific type. I was uh, assigned normal. I made it to the fifth gym, but uh, after the fifth gym, I just got completely plastered, basically, and couldn't do anything. Um, another side up, which I caught a few or uh, Of course, you turned back. Have I played the new ones yet? No, not yet, Ron. That's why I'm playing this one. That's why I'm playing this one, because I didn't get to... I, I don't have the money, actually, right now to buy it. But you're getting it for Christmas, hopefully. Nice. Hopefully. Uh, my next Twitch payout, Ron, on the 15th, or I should be getting a Twitch payout on the 15th anyways, uh, is probably when I'll get Violet. Unless someone gives it to me on Throne before... Uh, before that. You feel guilty that you're playing... Why are you feeling guilty? You're excited to watch me play it? Yeah, like, I haven't gotten to Pokemon in a very long time, and because Arceus and Scarlet and Violet finally broke somewhat from the mold, that's why I'm getting back into it. Because all other games, so we're always like, here you are, you're a 10-year-old boy, girl, go through, get your first Pokemon, your starter Pokemon, go through the gyms. Like, it was, I, I felt it was always the same, and it never changed. So now that it's, they're somewhat breaking out of that mold, making it open the world, and Scarlet and Violet even has some extra things for you to do other than just that same mold, I'm like, okay, I'm willing to give it a try. And I'm actually liking Arceus the way that you just go around, throw Pokeballs at the back of Pokemon, and more than likely catch them. I don't know, it's, it's a fun change. How about Alola? It has no gyms? Uh, I'm not sure, Toast. Like I said, I'm just recently getting back. This year, since uh, this one came out. Played it a little bit at the start of the year. And uh, Violet and Scarlet have piqued my interest slightly. If you like sneaking in Arceus? Yeah. That's usually how I catch most my Pokemon, to be honest. I'm like, I'm lazy. I don't want to battle things. I just want to catch things. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have something in my throat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Out of all the new Pokemon, so, so Titan has to be your favorite. It's so cute. I'm not sure which ones you're talking about, Toast. I'm sorry. You like the sneaking in Arceus. You dropped the series in Sun and Moon. The plot was way too much for a kid to take on and took me you out of the game like intermediate. Oh. That's way too much. Yeah. In this game, you're supposed to be more around like 15 or so, I think. 15, 16 or something like that. So it makes more sense story-wise. Oh, geez. We we just literally found a, a Firestone. Sweet. We'll take it. I'll take the Firestone. Thank you, game. I don't have room for apricorns? How do I not have room for apricorns? Uh, ah, something in my eye. Again. Uh, Alright. Anything in here that I can just get rid of or something? I don't know. Because we kind of need the apricorns. Oh, there we go. Candy. We'll use it. We'll use the candy, and then we'll be able to pick up the apricorns. Thank you. The one apricorn. But no, I, I, I can get behind what you're saying, though, Ron. Like, there's a lot of the things that happen in Pokemon. It's like world changing. And it's like, you expect 10-year-old kids to actually fight all these things? Like, seriously? Oops, I made, I made a ghastly angry. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone now. 
No problem. Why don't I just get on the deer? There we go. That's faster. <clears throat> I'm Cabal of the... <clears throat> I'm Cabal of the... Per, 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 I can't talk. There's a term to a simple story that is grounded. Spoiler free, but Scarlet and Violet are a lot more grounded in plot and you love them. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's good, though, Ron. That's good. Yeah, because from, from what I've heard, anyways, Ruby... Between Ruby and, like, Sun and Moon, it's, like, all... Earth world shattering stuff that could end the world if uh, if you don't do it. It's like what the heck. <laughs> I'm Cabal of the Pearl Clan, Warden Cabala to you. <laughs> oh, now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be one of the one they say fell out of the space time rift. That's right. I see. I see. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there was some, wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run around, run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from, from your sort, or the Diamond Clan, for that matter. That young lady, Arizu, offered to help, but associated with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. <laughs> ah, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and commenting down below.